Hello my share bears. Today's video is a collective haul. There are some things here from Sephora and there's also some things here from NYX. So I don't have all the prices on the Sephora stuff because I didn't print out my receipt and I don't have a computer in here. It's just my phone which is kind of difficult to use for this. So I will leave these products in the description box down below so that you can go over and check and see what their prices are. Um, one of them may not even be available anymore. I'm not sure. So the first item I got and this is I am on like a binge for mascara and makeup eye makeup remover and foundation and setting sprays and I don't know I've just been on a binge for it so one of the things I've wanted to try and know and no this probably isn't gonna work for me I have oilier sections but I watch the Talia and she does her 15 days of foundation and one of the foundations she did was this one and she has oily acne prone skin and I thought oh, she's using it I need to try it and this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation so I got it in a light medium beige. I love this bottle. It's so beautiful. I do like the packaging on this and when I got it I couldn't even use it because it was cold and it was very thick. I know it's not supposed to be thick. It's supposed to be thin and it is a great match for me so happy because it's so hard to tell online what they're going to look like on you the next thing I got was a concealer apparently I'm on that kick too because I have ordered the Tarte Shape Tape from Tarte you cannot get it at Sephora you can only get it at Ulta or at Tarte so I had to order it in order to get it and it's been raved about and of course I want it but I did end up, I did pick up the Kat Von D Locket Concealer and this is in the shade Neutral well L11 Neutral and I've gotten this on the advisement of geek out of water Shelly and she used it and liked it and I went, I have to try it I love Kat Von D I love the locket foundation gonna try it and see how it works I have not tried it yet I just got this stuff yesterday so the last item I got in my Sephora haul was a Stila highlight kit this was the Starlight Star Bright highlighting palette this was a Christmas release of all the highlighting palettes this is the one that got the best reviews and I'm not a big highlight person that I just need to have every highlighter but these ones look so beautiful um, if you haven't seen this I think these are wrong This looks like it should be transcendent. This one does look like kitten. And this one should be bronze. But they've got it labeled the other way. So I think it might be backwards. Because this is definitely a bronze color. But if you haven't seen these, these have like a cushiony texture to them. They are neat they're like 
and so smooth. And I will try to build up that one because that one is very light. <clears throat> so there are the colors. There is the really light one, which is the one that thrills me because it's pink and I love pink highlighters. I do not know if this is still available. When I bought it, it was in the sales section and I was like shocked that that was in the sales section because this was the most hyped up one through everybody. Everybody was saying this was the good one this year. I, so I did pick up that. It was on sale and it was on sale for a good price because I probably wouldn't have picked it up because I have highlighters. but. It's on sale, I have to get it. Now on to my NYX haul. And this is stuff I can get NYX at Shoppers. Um, and I believe I can get it at Rexall, but I almost never go to Rexall. <clears throat> so, I actually didn't order online because you can't get everything in shoppers. They have a display but doesn't have everything there. They don't have brushes for one. Um, I don't think they have any foundations in there. Most of it is lips and eyeshadow or eyeliners and and they do have the strobe of genius I don't think they had any brushes there though and they have the single eyeshadows like the little ones like this one this one was in my ipsy bag I did not order this I'm actually wearing that on my eyes today so, <clears throat> everything I ordered, I could not get from the actual, like, to go in and get it from a store. Including this, which I'm shocked that this isn't available there. This is the high definition finishing powder. This is $12. I'm surprised that they don't have this there because they have blushes. They do have some blushes there. So I don't know why they don't have this there. And I've heard that this is a good powder. Can't open it, but it's a good powder. <laughs> and it does, when you swatch it, it feels very smooth. It seems to blend away so that you're not getting a white cast. This is $12. I just had an Ofra one that was in my BoxyCharm that was horrible and it was well over $12. So I really wanted to get this and try it. Next I have this, the Soft Matte Lip Cream Trio. It was a three-piece set. I'm so proud of myself because they had the lip bolts on and it was one of those things that I really wanted. I was like, oh, I won't use all the colors. There's no reason to buy that. But they did have this one and this one comes with Antwerp Toulouse and Barcelona. Okay. I do not have any of these and they have been ones that I have wanted to try. Probably not this one as much because I don't wear a lot of reds. But this is Antwerp and my watching sucks today, sorry. And this one is Toulouse. There. This was the one that I really wanted 
to try. And then the last one is Barcelona and it's also one that I really wanted to try. This one is a lot brighter than I thought it would be, but looking forward to trying it. That would make a really nice spring summer color. And this was 19, nope, 14.25 was what it sold for because it was on their sale items. The next thing I got, and I have gotten the L'Oreal um, Lash Primer, but I wanted to try a couple drugstore. So I got the NYX Big and Loud Lash Primer. I am hoping that this works, like the L'Oreal at least. I will say so far, I don't think the L'Oreal is as good as a Lancome Sil Booster, but it's good. So I'm hoping this will work. And this was $4.50 for this. Normally $9. So happy about that. Now I said I don't have a lot of of NYX eyeshadows. I have lots of their lip products. I have a couple of their blushes. I have one trio and that single of the NYX eyeshadows. Like That's it. I was not impressed with the NYX trio. I got in Ipsy bag. It wasn't that great. I also have the NYX brow pencil which I'm actually using today and it's good. I also have the Strobe of Genius palette, which is also very good. So I wanted to get one of their compacts, and I know these have been talked up. The one There was another one I wanted, but it wasn't available. It was out of stock. So I just went with this one, and this one is in Nouveau Chic. And these colors are all the colors I think the only one that I not too sure about okay it's swatching better today yesterday when I swatched this it was like patchy like really patchy but all the other colors swatched so beautifully and I'm excited to give this a try and see how it works out I this right they are a bit powdery but I found that more and more with all of the eyeshadows I've been trying that they're quite powdery I look forward to trying that and giving it a review maybe it'll be in a Friday Fabs or a monthly favorites you never know but I am looking forward to it it does have an equal amount of matte and shimmer shades which I do like the last two items I got were brush sets as I said they don't sell brushes in shoppers for them they barely sell brushes for any company except their own which is cool so I was looking to get brushes because I heard that they had brushes out. So the first brush set I have is the Dark Bold and Smoky Brush Kit. This was $21, which is not bad. I mean, there are five brushes in here and you have everything from blending and crease and all over and a pencil brush and small detail these are nice they are quite heavy I'm impressed by how heavy they are they do not say what each brush is for on the brush 
one of my only downfalls to this. Um, they do consider this an under eye brush, which I think it is a bit thick, but I can work with it. This is a detail brush, which is better for under the eye, because it's got that nice fine point that you can do a pencil line under it. So I'm looking forward to trying these. They're quite soft. Can't go wrong. Look forward to more brushes coming because I'm a brush addict. That should be how I open my videos from now on. Hi, I'm Sherry. I'm a makeup addict. <laughs> the next one I have, they did not come in this. They came in a box and then they were with the pouch. The pouch does fit them though. And this is the Holiday Eye Brush Kit Essentials. And this one was $40. Oh, this one was $35. It went down to $21. This was $40 and went down to $24. This one has a really nice... blending brush in it. I'm really impressed with this. It also comes with a brow brush with a spoolie. I don't know that this spoolie is the best quality. It's smaller than normal spoolies on other brushes. But again, these are really heavy brushes. They're not a flimsy brush and I, I mean that in a I know that some of the e.l.f. brushes can be flimsy, especially if you go into the $1 brushes, you're getting a flimsy handle, the ferrule's loose. These are not loose in the least. They look to be really high quality. When you go like this, you're not getting hair popping out of them. These look really good, and I'm looking forward to giving these a good try. I love my makeup brushes. I love my eye brushes. So that's everything. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Much love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.